Right, go in. Catch up time and... I'm on you. I've replaced me mate because my other one's flipping useless. <laughs> so, I've swapped him for this one. <laughs> catch up time. Catch up time with Richard because we were going to catch up with Andy, but yeah. you lot don't want to hear about drinking and barbecue. Well, that was... Ah, yeah. Done. Yeah. Andy, Andy's not the best of joint at the minute. So, we're going to talk to Richard about Heronbrook Fish Show and a tale of woe. Yeah. Well, to be we? fair, it's sort, sort of woe, sort of all right. No, it's not win, so it's well. But it's not as bad as it has been. No, no, I'm, it's an improvement on the recent drawing ability. I think that was quite a nice one of almost going in saying, right, stop moaning and being like negative about stuff. Did you? You had a shot yeah. at yourself? Like, right, I'm just going to draw and I'm just going to go fish. Like and that. I think I texted Jord before the draw. I was like, yeah, I'm going to draw a silly one today. Like, yeah. When you get that <laughs> feeling that it's going to be all right. And where was it? 25 on Matt. Lake was it? Yeah, but it's not. I don't need, it should have a different name now because I'm more confused. You're on the new bit of Match Lake, aren't you? Yeah, because because he this is at Heronbrook. Isn't yeah, it? he dug because they dug the new bit, haven't they? That it was all one lake and now he's filled in the gap between it, so it's a, its own little. Yeah, made the fish pond. live in there. If you don't want to be in there, I'll make you. <laughs> That's what he's done, hasn't he? So. A fair play to him. It makes it a fair. So you've drawn for anyone that knows Heronbrook, where the caravan is. Yep. There, pretty much, yeah. yeah. That in, one you can reach across on. Yeah, in the car park, you've got a li little pokey island that comes out that plums up like the moon. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I got there because I rang you. You were sort of Steve Openshaw had been yeah. on there the day before or something. Yeah. yeah. Or a couple of days before. before and there was fish about. That was a nice thing. But I think the problem I'd got looking at it because they only put the four corners in, so you get get loads of room. Yeah, but the it, uh, you got the a horse fly on your nipple. <laughs> that could have been fun. Is, is he gone? Ah, he's, he's on your chin now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, yeah, this is like he wants to be a star of the show. Where's he's he on gone? your nipple again. He's on, he's there, Rich. He's there. He's there. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. <Good> <laughs> that was phenomenal. Right, like, come on. Done. So yes, four corners in. Um, yeah, and I've had like Lee Riley opposite on the same one as you. They're gonna reach across. Yeah. Um, but all the carp have kind of been sat in that gap between us because there's yeah. no pegging between us and it was almost like they'd, they knew where the 16 metre line was. Yeah, and I think they will because yeah. that's been getting pegged like that, that lake, them four corners, like you say, they're going to live there, aren't yeah. they? But there was, there, there was the odd one sneaking in and stuff, so it was like, yeah, we might, might be able to catch a few. But um, yeah, what have I done? I've plumbed up on that island and it's been absolutely horrendous and it kind of just slopes off into nothing. Yeah. You've got if you go tight to the island, you've got four inches. It's that bad you can like see your shot out of the water. Mm -hmm. I've set a deck like a normal sort of deck rig up on there, coming off what, the island. In, yeah, into like ten inches or something like that. Because a lot of it's yeah. proper carp, and you were like, that was a minimum. I was thinking you'd maybe be able to catch them in. I like that. Um, but yeah, someone mentioned, or a couple of people mentioned it, that they've been catching kind of pinging pellets to the island and almost just swinging a little sort of dibber rig in there. Yeah, you can't um, have a pole above the dead. Yeah, and I've kind of set mm. set it up half-heartedly and not... What is it, 14 now? Yeah, uh, just over, probably like 15 metres. Comfy, yeah. not, not horrible. Yeah, so you can reach it if you needed to, and they're on about like swinging it and stuff. And like, when, when the whistle's gone, literally ping, pa pinged a couple of bells, it's like two or three, and there's like fish there instantly. They're in no water, you've got backs out and everything. Yeah. Absolutely, um, nice catch. Yeah, but there's fish there, which was sort of the nice thing. And mm. I've got to be fair, I've gone straight in on that sort of. I've used my mugging rig in the end, so you say it sort of probably 10, 12 inch, something like that. Yeah. Um, so you're well in the shallow water, you're well over depth and everything. But it sort of just turned into like you'd see a fish, you'd work out which way it was facing, and you just want to slap it somewhere near its head. Yeah, and this is fish on the deck across. Yeah, yeah, I and, like that. and they'd like grab at it, and you get loads of weird bites. I think there were some little tiny F ones in amongst yeah, them. So, is, yeah. but you would would catch them, and they were sort of like an X rate ounce and stuff. So, it was putting weight in. But yeah, you just almost have to ping your pellets, wait. You'd see fish come in, and you'd be able to like nick a few. But then in amongst them, there was the muggers as well, and those were like the big old angry ones. What the muggers? Like out, separate. In a, out in open water. And right, they're the best days then. When you can have a separate one rig that does mugging and somewhere to rest. Yeah. That's the happy days, isn't it? And it, to be fair, that's all it was. I had Andy sat behind us, distracting us for the first two hours, I think. <laughs> Which didn't Doesn't really help. help. Yeah. And then I've had random people. You've had a horrible spectator, yeah. I'm going to stick up to you. <laughs> and you've had many, many visitors. To which... be fair, 
Bagger made me nervous. I didn't like Bagger behind us. I no, felt, I felt he was judging me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd class um, double. Yeah, but, that's what he's thinking. But yeah, it's been <laughs> like it's been like that for probably two and a half hours, and it's been been good. Mm. Um, like just going through that, Nick and Odd ones on the island. If you see muggers, the muggers were quite weird though. Like single fish, you would never catch him. Yeah. Um, well, you never. No. You, you, like, Were they swimming or they still? Yeah, they, they weren't like flying through. They looked like they should be catchable, but I've tried like loan in, and it was like they didn't notice. If you slap, they didn't, didn't really spook, but they didn't they just, snatch at it. Yeah. But if you had a group of like three or four, again, if you if you like lowered it in nice, they didn't. It was like they weren't aware it was there. Mm -hmm. But if you like slapped it almost in the middle of the group, they'd sort of forget and suddenly want to grab and you catch it. And they were like the big ones that were eight to ten pounds sort of thing. Yeah, big old ones. So they're a different fish to what you were catching on that island. Um, mm. But yeah, then then it's just like, it felt like it was game on then, but then it's just like that wind swung around slightly and it's just started phys like fizzing Where out. Where did the wind go? The, was the wind blowing your way? Yeah, it was coming into my corner, but then it's only, it's not swung around a lot, but it's all, it's gone calm up where it's coming and from what blocks it off. Yeah. It's not swung much, but it's suddenly gone a lot calmer and I've like lost that ripple. Yeah, they're not pushing the crap your way. And you're seeing, seeing yeah. on that island, they're pushing a bit further back. I've caught a few sort of going 16 metres, swinging it past round the corner almost, but they've, they've pushed out range and it just felt like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's fizzing out. Slipping and, away. Yeah. We're done with him doing star jumps up that bank. But, I had a sent him down there. <laughs> he would repel them, wouldn't he? Send him the fish down this way. But yeah, you just <laughs> felt like you were running out of fish. But saying that, Chris, um, Christian was on about it when he was on there because he drew it on the last qualifier. He drew Bennett's peg in the yeah. opposite corner. He yeah. was like, you almost just seem like they, you run out of fish on there, whether it's yeah. not as many in there as you think, sort of thing, and you do catch a chunk of them. It's just there's but, a lot of space, isn't there? Yeah, and tried the edges and it wasn't right because they just wanted to be in that proper shallow water. They were like going up the bank and heads out the like literally heads out the water feeding. You mm. like you're not putting any bait there. The big ones. Yeah, like proper carp proper as, well. as well. They were doing it on the island and they were doing it down the edge. Like on the island, you can say, yeah, I've pinged a few pellets, a few might have gone a bit long, but yeah. down the edge, you're putting bait in, you've fed nothing, but they're coming in and then going up the bank, so they're horrible. It's clever, aren't they? When they're in that mood at this time of year, when they want to be buggers, yeah. they know not to eat your pile, don't they? They come. But like, and they are hard on there. A lot of people moan about catching them in the edge on there. They yeah, can be a... I did, it felt like I didn't get it right, but I don't know what. I needed to do. <laughs> I don't think there were numbers there enough. From what you've said to me, there weren't enough numbers, Robin, oh. to clatter them. Oh, it's pretty. Isn't it? So yeah, needed like sixty pound down the edge in the last hour, but I didn't. So yeah. that you was must that. have got a lot. You must have had hundred pound first hour nearly. Yeah, I, half. I think I definitely underestimated, or I wasn't clicking the little ones because I clicked them first two nets that pretty much filled when Andy was there. So two out, just under two hours. I clicked them at forty-five, so, but they went fifty-nine. That so was yeah. like bad for You've me. Emptied it, haven't you, and then just run out. But anyway, what we end up with? 190. Uh, don't know, 190 something. 191. Something. Horrible as position in a fish mania qualifier. I don't. I can handle it. That one I can handle because it she was because that Arter's like absolutely empty. It's got like 20 pounders and all sorts, and <laughs> he's like obliterated it with 260. So it was a. Uh, yeah. If it had caught 210, it'd have like proper upset me. But it yeah. was far enough that. You'd be proper pushing it to no, do that. It's think. been well dissected, hasn't it, between us, and I don't think you could have won. Yeah. It's a lot of fish. Sixty pounds a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I think the because Lee Lee's ended Lee Riley opposite, he's had like one seventy, so he's been close as well. But yeah. he's got a lot of F ones down the edge late and or shallow down the edge, I think. Yeah. So that was the only other option if I'd have proper set my stall out for them, but I think it's yeah. still not sixty pounds. Yeah. Not in between you catching nothing. Yeah. So no. So yeah. then. Close but close but not close enough. I still got a bank runner, so it's all good. Well, see, see what happens at Morley. <laughs> Another like mugging epicenter of deal. That's the one, isn't it? That's the next one. But yeah, well done to Art. Fair play to him. He's had some close ones this year, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been quite, and his mates in it as well. John's in fish out. What Art's done something else. I think he was second in a golden reel the other week. But anyway, they've done really, really well. Caught lots and lots of fish, big ones on there. Match Lake definitely was the place to be, wasn't it? Yeah, I think as top, expected. Other than um, Trev, Trev was in the frame. He had 150, wasn't he? But Edinburgh's a mega one, isn't it? It's. <laughs> it's not for you when you draw, but it's such a good one for how many fish get caught in it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But anyway, yes, so on to the next one. You two can go to Moreland's. And, and what am I doing? I'm going to Lindo. I'm there Wednesday. You're having a break. You're having a two week break. I am going to have a break. But there you go. There's our catch up. Hopefully, we'll be able to get Andy on the next one because he's won at Moreland's <laughs> Farm. But it'll probably be me and Rich again. <laughs> Oh.
is there? Well, there will be. One, one, one will be Jay. One side will be Jamie. One side will be me. So it's probably if you'll hear me in one ear. Well, talk to me. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, boy, talk, Jay. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Yeah, boy. But does it confuse you if he's on the other side in real life? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's laughing at the same We're laughing at right. It'll look good. Um, Mate, you look amazing. Nothing out of place. In, you're in like red. There's nothing yeah, out red, of place. No. Red is red good. <laughs> Red's in focus. Except for the focus. You look fing in Oh, what have we. Oh, are you <laughs> fell in! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even looking. <laughs>